Hey guys, welcome back to Eileen Vibe Cooking. Today's video, we're making the most juiciest and delicious salmon recipe. It is so good, you guys. I am not kidding you. I promise you guys, you won't regret this video after watching it. Be sure to subscribe if you're watching us for the first time and also turn on your post notification, the bell by the subscribe button. Make sure you guys click it. If it's not on, be sure to click it because that's how you will know whenever we upload a video immediately so without further ado let's begin and also I almost forgot to tell you guys leave me comment down below on what I should cook on my next video because I do take those comments and write them on my notes so I can definitely make videos about them so let's begin before we even begin cooking our meat, you know the drill. Be sure to clean your meat. That will make your meat, any type of meat, taste 10 times better. I like to clean it with lime or lemon, even vinegar, just to remove the fishy smell. And then we're going to um, continue. Now I am going to let it sit there for about five to seven minutes. Okay, now I am going to rinse it with cold water, just regular water, room temperature water, doesn't matter. <laughs> Be sure to rinse it really good, I usually rinse it twice. Okay guys, now let's start cooking. I am going to place this in this pan right here and I am going to add about, I'll say three tablespoons of apis, which I do have a video of this seasoning for you guys if you wanna make it at home. It makes your food taste 10 times easier. If you guys want to place an order, you can also place an order through me via PayPal. I will ship it out to you guys. Now, um, this is it right here. I am going to make sure I rub the apis all over the, um, the meat. It's really easy to make this apis, guys. I will leave the video down below. It's a nice way to marinate your, your fish, your chicken, your turkey, any type of meat. It just makes the meat taste, you know, better. Okay, what you're going to see on the screen right now are the seasoning that I am going to use. I will be sure to leave them down below for you. I am using garlic, roasted garlic and herbs, obe seasoning, adobo seasoning, um, some pepper, red pepper flakes, ground black pepper, and some Goya Sasson seasoning. We're going to add that all over the fish. Next, we're going to add the adobo seasoning. All the measurement will be down below. Be sure to check it out. And also guys, follow Island Vibe Cooking on Facebook and also on Instagram at Island Vibe Cooking. If you guys want my personal IG or personal um, Snapchat, the link will be down below. Now we're going to add the pepper and we're going to add the Goya. I always get confused with Goya and yoga. <laughs> it's weird. Now I am going to add a little bit of lime juice in there. You can use, also use lemon. It will do the same thing. And we're going to let this sit for about, for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. So this is how it looks. As you guys can see, it's sink in the meat. That's a good thing because all the flavor will go inside, you know, in the meat. So we're going to start um, cooking it right now because I said that already. Now I am about to add four tablespoons of oil and about two tablespoons of tomato paste. We're going to fry it. 
And best way to not burn your tomato paste as you're doing it, be sure to cook your food on medium low. And also as you're frying this tomato paste, or you cooking it, be sure to add a little bit of water at a time, maybe two teaspoons of water, not teaspoon, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of water at a time. That will help you from uh, preventing the burning. Okay, now I am going to add some chopped parsley. I like to chop my parsley lately because it gives it more flavor, you know. I chopped it. I taste the flavor of the parsley even more when I chopped it. So I add it in there. Okay, next we're going to add our salmon in there. Next, I am about to add a little bit of water because salmon don't take that long to cook. And you don't need that much water. It will water down your food. It will taste bland, okay? Be sure to not add too much water. And next, I am going to add about half a cup of coconut milk in there. And next, I am going to add one scotch bonnet pepper. It's green. It's going to give it a nice flavor. And also, I poke some cloves in there. You can also use cloves powder, cloves powder if you have some. And I added some thyme in there too. Okay, now I am going to add a little bit of butter and we're going to let this cook for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, before we cover it, just add a little bit more water just so the cement can sink into the water and we're going to add some of the water on top of it just to make sure those uh, seasoning melt as it start to boil so we're going to do that and then we're going to cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes okay okay now this is about 10 minutes later you can taste it for salt I am adding about one teaspoon of salt if it's not enough you can always add more but it's good to add your salt gradually so you don't you know make your food salty As you guys can see, my salmon is cooking really slow. That is because it's cooking on low right now. Having a good habit of cooking your food on low will always make your food taste good. Well, not always if you don't season it good, but cooking your food on low and slow, it's always good because when you're not rushing the dish, it will always come out better and taste better better so now i am going to basically un it's probably stuck at the bottom i am going to lift it up a little bit and we're going to let it cover that's the main cooking right there we're going to let it cook for about 10 minutes once more and then we're going to uncover it this is how it looks the final result not really because i am going to add my onions at last <laughs> because i like my onions to be halfly cooked I add it in there and then I am going to take the sauce or the gravy of the salmon and pour it all over um, the onions.
Okay guys, at this point, our cinnamon is ready, nice and juicy and delicious. Um, you can also cook your onions to the fullest if you like it that way, that's how I like it. This is the final result, it was so, so good, very flavorful. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes and also comment down below. If you haven't commented anything, comment down below, what do you think about this dish? you're a big fan of cinnamon because I am a very big fan of cinnamon. I love it. You don't have to pick any bones. It's so good. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon on my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.